This is 1UP Indie. In this video I will introduce 3, technically 2 enemies to round up our first game. This is the last one and we can go to other important things like the loot and the XP assist. So let's get started. The first one is pretty easy. It is a stationary enemy that shoots in an interval bullets which can fly in 4 directions. First we need to define it in our creative end with only one new variable, the attack rate, and set it to shoot every 2 seconds. Now we want the attack rate variable to decrease in the step event of our shooter enemy. If it reaches 0, we reset and create an enemy which is called bullet. So basically we create another enemy but frame it to be like a bullet. To do that creation I'll introduce to you two very powerful functions, the width and the instant create layer. They are used to create instances during the run turn. The width function simply gives you access to the variables of the created instance and the instance create layer function well creates a new instance on that layer. And that is it. More details on both in my quick and dirty basic video. In the brackets of the width statement we need to define three new variables that we need to make. They are bullet speed, bullet direction and bullet time. Additionally we need to assign the type to bullet. Once created it needs to fly somewhere. That we prepare in the step event. So is the enemy a bullet? In case it is we need to first check the direct. This can be solved by four if statements or by a switch statement. Here I chose for simplicity the if statement but that is personal preference. Like in the previous enemy setup video we use again the move toward point function in a simpler manner. Because we don't want to follow the player, we set the X and the Y values to make sense from our starting position of the bullet itself. It makes sense not to overflow the game with bazillion bullets that fly for eternity. And that is why we decrease the bullet time, if it reaches zero, we destroy the bullet for good. And now comes the last regular enemy, the spike. It is a lazy but not very effective way to do but hey, why not. We go instantly to the creation code in the level, set up the type as spike and give it a nice small pool of 2 bazillion HP and change its image index to that of the spike. For now every enemy has a wobbling distortion to mask that it doesn't really animate at all. Simply add an if statement so the spike won't wobble. Lastly, what needs to be done is now to populate the maps with enemies. Set the type, HP, damage and other variables to give it the illusion of variety. We now officially finished the regular enemies and I will introduce pickups and the XP system in the upcoming video. After that we add some sound to round up the experience. Till next time, one up indie. Are you still here? I got some new stuff in my Patreon, so if you're into that and have a need for some fresh pixel art, well, here you are. Plus, you help me out so I can make more.